Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Trigger. Uh, we're here, we gotta go back to Robo's time, but before we do, I do want to fight Speckles real quick, and I also want to make a party a change. I have uh, Ayla with me right now, but obviously I don't really want to keep her. Uh, she doesn't have magic and stuff, so um, I already went ahead and took off all of her stuff. Now I just kind of got to pick who I want to take with me, and I think I'm going to take Frog here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Replace Ayla with Frog, just because he does have... Oh. He has magic, and I actually do like Frog a lot. We're going to have to fix his equipment here. So he has the Mass Immune. Stone is a bit better. I think the Mesoic. That one's the best. And then Hero's Badge, because he has the Mass Immune on him. So we're going to do that, and we'll be set. Okay, guys, so let's not waste too much time. Let's go ahead and go... So that's not, where's the Proto-Dome here? Leanne Square, no. Proto-Dome 2300 AD, yes, that's where I need to go. And I need to go to that one door. And this is where we found Robo here. So we're going to have to go back all the way to the other side of the continent here. So that's this will be fun. It looks like we're going to have to race. Easy enough. We still gotta just kind of get out of here. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to fight these guys. Ew, oh, these are the magic people. That's right, these guys are kind of easy to take care of now because I have the lightning too. So these guys aren't too much of an issue. I mostly just don't want to fight the big guys. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this chest to race recorder. Yeah, these guys aren't gonna let me pass without, you know, having a whack at them. Okay, it looks like Robo does a good job of taking care of him. Ooh, there's another chest wand. I can need to get this chest real quick. Mid potion, okay. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to go through site 16. Super annoying, but let's do it. Okay, we're finally out. So where we need to go, not here, but I do want to open this. So this is not where we're supposed to go, but I do want to open this. Alluring top, high ether, workman's wallet. What does that do? Turns XP into gold. Okay, well, I definitely don't want to do that yet. And okay, so I can't put the alluring top on, okay. Interesting. Into this door. Pen it begins to glow. High ether. Golden stud. Magic capsule. So the golden stud reduces MP consumption by 75%. Oh boy, that sounds like something Robo should have. 
And then I guess we'll put this. Let's put the Rage Band on him. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Let's do that. Sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna literally actually go to the source. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go back. Okay, we're finally out of there. So now we can actually go to the place where we're supposed to go, and that is the sewer. Um, funny enough for us, though, we technically already finished uh, this part of the game. So we can just walk right through because we did it earlier in the game, which makes me a tiny bit happy. Oh, I think I just go up here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we already did this part. We did all the things. So now we can just go straight to the Keeper's Dome where we will find the person that we want to talk to here. Strange, the final instruction sequence, the wise one programmed into me for this one. Uh, now I can join him in his eternal rest, but first, I am certain there was one more task I was ordered to complete, something about the seats. Memory error, I forget. Let's get up in this door. Hmm. You have opened the door. I am Belthazar, the guru of reason. And formerly of the kingdom of zeal, I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land, to which, to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a begone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing even stronger. Lavo's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I have named Death Peak as his throne, or nest, as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an, av an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself, and in an age such as this, an endeavor I fear may be futile. So, before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind along with my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then only you may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work, the wings of time. This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings, the wings of time. This must be it. The Wings of Time. Indeed. How do I get in? Oh, okay. I need to kind of step out. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway. There's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press X to display the time gauge and select the area you wish to visit. Ah, yes. Before you go, why don't you give a name to my t time machine? I'm good with Epoch, honestly. Well then, hop aboard. Well, the seats aren't in yet, dude. Oh, oh, I get it, okay. I see how that works. get off take off I don't want to get off oh end of time the cataclysm the present middle ages antiquity 
Okay. So we can go to all of these. Okay, so it looks like we we need to go back into 12,000 because they locked us out. Well, now we need to go back in. Oh, that machine sound. Unbelievable energy readings. It is is that as if the total mental energy of all humans who have ever lived were being amplified. Whoa. Epoch is capable of this? Oh, it was just this thing, right? Terra Cave. Well, the ladder is back now. There's people. The village of the Earthbound. The Earthbound ones are banished from Zeal. We're taken to build the Ocean Palace. Yes, let me see what goods... Ooh, this guy has goods, goods. This is a really strong blade. Oh, this guy has some good stuff. And I have nowhere near enough money. Um... This is perfect, so we're gonna, you know, let's get one of these. Let's get the arm. Let's get three radiant plates. Okay, and then two radiant helps. Let's go ahead and equip it, and then we're gonna have to buy some more stuff here. So we're gonna have to put that on radiant helm and radiant plate. Megatron, radiant helm, radiant plate. And then we're just gonna have to put on the radiant plate. Okay, let's go ahead and sell a bit more. Okay. Indian helm. Okay, perfect. And I want to keep that. Dude, now we are absolutely stacked. So we're good now. So let's check out each of these caves here. The Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possesses power within him, exceeding even that of Lady Shala. But then the queen lost her mind and the young lord grew to hate that power and all the suffering it causes Lady Shala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. Okay, so Janus is able to use magic then. When will Lady Shawa come and play with us again? Uh, the three gurus and Lady Shala are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. Uh, interesting. Okay, so these people are not very nice to the these earthlings. The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play around. Okay, so there's some mud beasts down there. Would you like to rest here for the night? Yes, I actually would. Okay, so there's mud beasts down where we're heading, so we will have to probably either fight that or be careful of that. So Okay, let's keep moving on here. This tunnel connects to the Mud Beast Den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies a great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, and so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly save. And I guess that's where we're headed. So, let's go inside. Nothing down here. Okay, we've got... I think these are just normal enemies. Let's go see how strong they are. Attack increased. Okay, so they have more. They have more than 300. They have more than f probably 500? 600? 700? 
1,000? They have around 1,000 HP. Yo, that's wild. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and try to take care of them quickly then, because... It has that much HP, we don't want it to be attacking us. Now, it seems like it's a very, very slow creature. Yeah, okay, so it's super, super slow. But I'm guessing if it hits us, it'll probably hit us for a very large amount. There's nothing here, right? No? Okay. Let's see. Okay, we've got two more of these things. Let's do lightning two. I don't know how much damage that does. But let's just see, are these guys immune to lightning? They are, okay, so it doesn't do a whole bunch, but 250. Okay, so, yep, 700 damage, about 800. Okay, so they're between 800 and 1,000. I think we could probably just uh, hit it to death here, hopefully. Please don't attack. I'm kind of curious to see if it attacks, what it'll hit for, but at the same time, I don't really feel like giving it a chance to do that. That might not be a good idea here. Okay, these are different colors. You're not getting through here. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and do that. Do an aerial strike on the goblin. Let's do that on the ice, ice looking one. Okay, about a, about a hundred each. That's not terrible. Not the worst that it could be. About another hundred. Guessing he's gonna do probably like 70, 80? 90, okay. Will he heal? Okay, then we definitely have to kill the goblin first. Let's go ahead and cleave the goblin here. And we're gonna... Man, does he have... What type of defense does this guy have here? Pretty high defense. I wonder if he's just magic. Let me try. Let me do that, but then let me try lightning one on him. Oh, and with frog, let me do water. Let me see if that does anything here. And Robo's next one will definitely. Okay, so it does a little. Magic does a little bit more damage. Okay, I'm gonna need to start doing some heal beams out of Robo. I'm kind of. Messing this up here a tiny bit, but, um... Okay, 93. Alright, I need... Hopefully Frog doesn't die here. Oh, that is... No, oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to revive and heal, so... Let's go ahead and use an Athenian Water on Frog. Please don't die. Okay. And then, I'm gonna need to very, very quickly do Frog's tech. Heal Beam. No, that sucks. Okay, well, I did the heal beam, but Chrono died. That's oh, alright, I can do a heal beam multiple times. It's just a tiny bit annoying here. Wait, did I just do two Athenians? I think I might have. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe I'm not tripping. I have no idea. Okay, I really need them to not hit Chrono for literally two seconds. Okay, Athenian water. Get the Athenian water going. Okay, good. This should put us out of out of death range here. Because again, th these guys aren't hard. I'm just stuck in the cycle of reviving, healing, reviving, healing. It seems like this goblin keeps hitting his own beast, so it's just kind of weird. Let's do another heal beam. Let's do another lightning. Let's do another water. So I guess we'll just ignore hitting with Robo for the meanwhile just so he can heal for a while here. Yeah, so we'll just keep we'll just keep doing some magic. So a little a little trouble at the start of the fight just because I didn't manage my health super super well. But I think it all comes to work out in the end. I just need to get rid of this dude right here. I don't know how much HP he has, but seems to have a super high defense considering. No, oh, it was just a counter. Okay. Maybe do I need to kill? Am I doing this wrong? Do I need to maybe kill the two beasts first and then go for the goblin, or am I doing something wrong here? Okay, that did not give me a chance to even heal Chrono. It's a tiny bit annoying. 
I don't know what I literally don't know what strategy I'm going for here. I don't even. I mean, this is probably a bad idea because I need to heal Chrono. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, this fight I am not doing particularly well. That's okay. Okay, that's that means I'm dead right there, right? Yeah. Union water. Let's get another heal beam out of Robo here. I just need two seconds just to get that off. Um, oh, I was like, is he asleep? Who's he gonna hit? Of course he hits Chrono, so... Another Athenian Water. I don't know why I couldn't... What happened to Robo right there? Maybe we could do a High Potion on me? There we go. Fix all, fixes all of our issues here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to attack these beasts then. Um... Maybe, maybe the option isn't go for the goblin. Maybe I should just kill these things first. And I think maybe once both of these guys are gone, maybe then we'll be able to hit the goblin for a bunch. Yeah, I think that's the new strat here. Now we just gotta test it out and see if it actually works. It's really good that they're hitting Chrono a lot, I'm about to heal with Robo, so I need them to not... some more. They're really wailing on Chrono here. Okay, I need a Heal Beam stat. I need a Slurp Slash, and I need a Cleave on that guy. Let's see. Okay, we're healed, so we're out of range. I know we've done the most damage to the blue guy. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep hitting him, and hopefully one of these days he'll be dead. Definitely, this uh, Robo's Rapid Fire Fist is doing a very large majority of the damage here. Which sucks, because he's also the main healer at the moment. Okay, Chrono's going to need another heal, because they're going to keep targeting him. So, 600. Okay, no. Frog over there is sleeping. Okay, I need, I need literally two seconds to heal. Never mind, he's asleep. Okay. Okay, that's a counter. Okay, let me heal, please. I need a high potion on him. Okay, I need a high potion on myself, apparently, because Robo is now uh, asleep, even though he is uh, a robot. So he heals, but his healing is, like, really, really not good. Okay, let's do another... Let's just, let's just start using high potions here. They cost quite a bit, but at this point... These guys are kind of trucking through our health a tiny bit. And I need, yeah, okay, I need Robo alive because I need him to do his fist, which is crazy good. Mm, let's do an aerial strike. There we go. Let's see how much lightning does to everyone. I know I did it once before, but I didn't really check. Okay, so it does not too much damage. But, yeah, these, everyone here has an extremely high amount of health. Because considering I've hit him for quite a bit, and none of these guys are actually dying. I know these things have high health because we fought some out the normal ones outside, and it didn't seem to do much. So clearly these guys are meant to be like high HP enemies, but they just are not dying, man. And I know I could probably read the guide on like how to do this fight, you know, how, which ones are weak to what, but I like going into these without that type of knowledge, so I'm just hoping I could... I, I'm just confused whether I need to hit the goblin or these first. Yeah, and these are a lot weaker, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for these, and I know he keeps healing, but his, the healing is like super, super minuscule, so it's, you know, it's not like we're doing... He's only healing a quarter of one of, you know, Robo's attacks. This attack right here is super annoying because they get to attack a lot. Okay, no, I want to use it. I want to use the rapid fire fist on there. I don't. Did I run out of high potions? No, I still have some. Oh, there one goes. Okay, that's perfect. Now he can't use that triple tech anymore. 
Okay, so that dude has a lot of health, but at least he can't use a triple tech anymore. Which is the one that was causing us issues. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to use a heal thing with uh, Robo now. Let's use a cleave. But the damage output should be a lot lower now. Hopefully once we kill these two, this guy won't resummon them, because if that's what happens here, I am going to cry quite a bit, actually. But I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Unless he has, like, an unlimited amount of special red and blue. Uh, you know. Uh, let's do another Slurp Slash. Let's do... I don't have any more MP. Let's go ahead and use a... mid ether. Let's just do it. Honestly, I don't even care. I'll have to go buy some more. I know they're super expensive. Let's go ahead and do that. We should, once again, do probably like around 600 damage. Another cleave. Do another slurp slash here. Yeah, the cleave isn't doing a bad amount. It's doing around 400. Really, the weak one here is um, Frog. He's not doing too much. But he might come in handy with his water when we have to do the, the main guy here. But since the damage output has d dramatically fell, see now we can really ignore healing and just start really pounding this guy with a lot of quick damage. Which seems to be working, so I haven't had to heal in uh, quite a little while here. There we go. So okay, does this guy's, this guy's defense, did it go down? No. Okay. But he literally does, like, no damage, so... He does heal for 150. Mm. Does he heal every time we attack? He does. Okay, then we're gonna have to switch to magic. Does he heal when I hit him with magic? And I'm not gonna even hit... He does? How am I supposed to kill this guy if he keeps healing? That literally makes no sense. Do I have to put him to sleep? He being able to do a triple tech. Hold on. Oh no, because that doesn't do that much damage. How do I kill this guy? Let me take a look at everyone's stuff. Maybe I need to paralyze him? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he just disappeared. Okay, so apparently I didn't need to kill that guy. That is very strange. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure... That should be enough for the next save point. Oh, that's an enemy right there. Don't know specifically where to go, but... Okay, these guys shouldn't be too bad. Usually the bird enemies are some of the weakest. So they have 200. 400. Okay, so I might need to kill the bird and then kill the goblin afterwards. 400, 600, 800. So about 800. Okay. Okay, he's probably gonna end for 400 here. Okay, so probably just need to do. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, we need to do about two more hits and he should be dead. There we go. Okay. That's a lot of gold. Okay, is this the. No? Oh. Hold on. I want to make sure I don't go the right way the first time. Okay, so this is not the right way. Perfect. It's a chest with Platinum Helm. Okay, let's go ahead and put that on Chrono here. Platinum Helm, yep. Better than the Radiant Helm. Man, ugh, these things look... F I don't want to fight these, but let's fight them just because I want to know how strong it is here. Disables techs and items. Okay, well I guess just got to attack it then. Let's see. Oh, Robo missed. He missed too. Why? Oh. Why are we missing? Is he gonna explode? He, okay, there's... Escaped. Weird. Okay. I know there's probably something special to that fight, I just don't know what it is. And I just noticed my dog is like, in the background here, doing his own- Oh, it's a girl, so doing her own thing. Ginger! 
What are you doing? You gonna sleep? Okay, she's just gonna sleep. Maybe she'll like move out of the way. There she is. I'm just gonna let her do her own thing while I play, I guess. Easy enough. I didn't even bother with any text. I just felt like just hitting a bunch. Okay, there's another gold rock. Nothing here. Okay. Is there any, wait, did I miss anything? No. So we gotta go this way with some more battles. And these guys are gold demons, okay. Let's go ahead and do a cleave. Let's go ahead and do a... Does that do a lot of damage? Yes, it does. Oh, they have less than 500, okay. Then I'm not gonna even bother attacking with frog because this will, yeah, do about 900. No way he lives on that one. Save? This isn't a, what is this? That is, can I, why is it blue? Why is this in the middle of nowhere though? That is, unless there's a boss coming up. Chest. It looks like we need to fight something to get to that chest. Ooh. That's like two. About 200. Okay. Oh. These guys have less than 200? Okay. That's actually crazy. It's a lot of XP. They didn't really give any gold. At least I didn't see barrier sphere. Okay. So I guess that was just for that chest over there. It was good enough. Ooh. I guess we can't. Do we have to. Are these guys. Oh, no. no. I was like, is this the same fight? Now we're getting a good bit of gold, which is good, so I'm gonna have to buy a lot of ethers here. Platinum vest and sphere shield, okay. Fair enough. Oh, I need to go up here. I'm a literal dummy. Okay. So gotta go to the top of the mountain, apparently. Nothing over here. No. They don't hide anything in rocks, do they? Let's grab. Yeah, we'll have to fight something for this chest, but a lot of gold, a lot of XP, so I like it. Lapis. That is a really good item. Even better than uh, Robo's heal beam, so. Okay, just goblins. Interesting. Okay. Not as much gold from that one. Here. There's a chain. Wait. I didn't end up in the same place, did I? We got a couple level one pieces there. Let's go down the chain. A lot of battles, but I'm digging it because that's a lot of. Ooh, I love this one. Because it's just a bunch of these gold demons, and those are taken care of so easily, it's insane. Literally just one lightning two and um, basically free XP. Love it. Let's go see what this chest contains. Another barrier sphere. Ooh, another gold rock. Let's go ahead and try to fight this gold rock. Nice. There you go, Robo. Ooh, and frog learned water too. Wait. Okay, that doesn't. Okay, it just turns back into a rock apparently. So that's cool. Ooh. Lapis? What are... The barrier sphere? Okay, one more chest, but we will have to fight. Ooh, more gold demons. High ether, okay. Mm. Okay, I have no choice. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't wanna fight these. Okay, not too bad of a fight. They didn't really confuse anyone. 3,000 G, that is a good amount of gold. I'll take that. 
It looks like we gotta go through the mountain of whoa, this is a like a pretty large dungeon it seems. Okay. Well, that was a solid try here. Nothing, nothing over here. Yeah, there's probably a chest. Yeah, there's probably a chest beyond these guys. Ooh, a bit of damage there. Two chests. Shelter. Shield sphere. Okay, not particularly worth it, but um. Okie dokie. Ooh, yes. More gold dudes. You love to see it, except I'm gonna have to use water too. Aw, oh, man. I'm gonna get him down to 1 HP. Alright, frog, I need you to use your water too, slowpoke. Come on. Before he hits all of us. Oh, I was on a tech menu, that's why I didn't have Perfect. I didn't know if these guys were maybe just weak to lightning or also weak to water, but. Okay, well, this time we're not gonna use potions. We're gonna go ahead and use his heal beam. There we go. Because it's like basically no MP. Another save station. Alright, right, everybody, I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.